Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to focus on the Drum Machine Designer by Logic Pro, the new version Logic Pro X 10.5. Okay, first we're going to open up Logic Pro and empty channel strip. Let's create it. So how we were, how we going to create a drum machine designer? You click on instrument and drum machine designer is right there. All right, so this is the drum machine designer. So it's very straightforward. I have a sample here that I like. All you got to do is just drag and drop. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to drag the, now I'm going to drag the snare. Okay. Okay, actually you can drag all the samples that you like into the gray area here. And you can create a new track using sampler or drum machine designer. Okay, so if you click on Drum Machine Designer, all the sam sampler that you drag is here. But I am still finding for my for my sample. Okay. A few moments later. Now, I'm gonna create a pattern region, or you can just press E for the shortcut. Okay, so now I'm going to create. Before that, I'm going to change the BPM to 140. Alright, so now I'm going to create a drum beat. So I'm going to loop that. Okay, and set it to 32 step. This is how you create it. Okay, if you don't if you don't want to have the sound, you just have to press this green button here. Okay. No sound. Got sound. Right. Okay. Okay, here's the thing you can click and drag if you want to repeat a note. But sometimes you accidentally make a mistake by going up or down. So if you don't want that, just press shift and drag it. So when you go up or down, it will still go on the same track okay so okay i can change only the head to an eight note Try and change that head to eight note. Mm -hmm. All right, you can change the velocity in many ways. First, you can click this, and you can adjust the velocity, or you can click this and there's a velocity here or you can go to the keyboard shortcut which is control option v k next okay we're gonna adjust the velocity a few moments later ok 
Okay, you can adjust the node repeat here again, just like the velocity, or you can click here. Here you can change a lot of things like the node, the node repeat, octave, or whatever you can you can explore that section. But now I'm going to adjust the node repeat. Uh, just click and drag. All right, if you feel your step sequencer look boring, you can change the color. All you got to do is just Click here in the middle here and drag it and click on colors. So I'm going to change the, my trap maybe to this color. Okay, if you like it, here's how you're going to save it. You click on here, empty kit, maybe you change the name to my drum kit. All right, my drum kit. You just click here there's a save button here and just save it and it will appear here at your user preset next time you can bring it up from there all right now i'm going to show you how to humanize it you know how to add some swing how to make it feel like human that play the drum you just convert it to midi and voila okay from here i'm going to show you how to adjust the pitch of the snare of the heads and so on okay you see you right click on it go to midi and separate by note midi and everything is there okay so if i want to let's say i want to adjust the snare and make it like a snare roll Okay, so if here, okay, on pencil tool, and just press command, and I can, or I can go to brush tool and drag it, but this is what I always do. Okay, you can do that. not so much okay just now I I talk about humanize it right okay this is how you humanize it you go to function okay you first of all you select all with command a go to function midi transform here you can do a lot of things okay like you can half speed or you can reverse reverse your position you can reverse your pitch but i'm going to humanize it okay so select and operate and this is what humanize do you can see it doesn't quantize it it shift the node a little bit out of the grid oops All right, okay, and the snare, I'm going to adjust the velocity. I'm going to click here, okay. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. All right, so I think that's all for today for the drum machine designer. And it started raining already. So, yep, I think I'm going to end this video now. So thank you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and put a comment and tell me.